veracity. Of course, we'll look at veracity. Let's go get it right now. Veracity has had a lot of stuff on Twitter. It's been on the um, it's been on the hot list, like five thousand tweets an hour or something. So Veracity is doing some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, let's take a look where it is on its weekly ten. It then a failure pattern above it. Let's zoom way in here. And it might be getting rejected. So you had a, essentially a double. You had a double failure pattern there, a double pump. Ugh. So right now it's all about the weekly 10. Can it get it back above? Um, wow, it really got through here. Look, look, so see, this is not a coincidence. Buyers pushed it through the weekly 10, right? And now what is it struggling with? The same thing. And it's not doing it's not reacting the same so i would watch out for this uh, if you can't get back above i mean it has a chance to bounce on this so this down here is like the daily 10 but technically it's the one hour 200 so what you might have happen here uh is a consolidation between these two as these two emas get closer to together and it might form a triangle and then whichever way it breaks out might be dependent on traditional markets and bitcoin something like this put a question mark boom bam um, and then the weekly 10 going like this and the daily 10 or the one hour 200 going like this, forming a triangle. And th this, this might only, so this only technically take it one day. So it's got to make up its mind soon. Um, and if Bitcoin's going sideways, it, it's probably going to go up. It's probably going to break up. If, as long as Bitcoin doesn't break down, sideways or better, it, it has a strong chance of breaking up. So I would, so I honestly think that uh, VRA touching its daily 10 down here, it, it could be good, uh, not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, but it could be a good buy signal because I, I don't see it getting rejected once and then breaking down below its support. I, I would say it, it would do it a few times. Maybe not as many times as I have drawn here. I'm kind of exaggerating the point, but to show you that it, it I think it's got a high um, chance of forming a triangle to ascending triangle at that uh, like this uh, because of these two EMAs that everybody's looking at. Um, what else? Uh, VRA. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything on the weekly chart. This looks okay to me. Um, even if you get a closure below here, I mean, the next week could easily just backfill, start down, like even retest all the way down to 0062. So it this failure point, I would say when the rally is like almost definitely over for this is if it breaks the absolute low of this and that wick here. So it's rallies over if it start if it starts going below 006 essentially. Uh, because of those points. Yeah, if it gives up this whole week at some other future week, it's probably done, but it really doesn't look like it's going to do that. Let's look at some indicators on here. Um, probably has good momentum. Yeah, the weekly RSI is actually pretty good. Lower or higher highs, higher lows. The daily, the weekly stokes are just getting moving. So, I mean, shit. The, the, the most bullish I could see happening. Gosh, this could go. It could come up to here. And hit that origin line with this wick. Uh, so let's go into the one hour chart. So the next pit stop up is 00862 for the upside. So now you have downside in kind of invalidation bearish points and then uh, upside targets where sellers will very, very, very likely step in to some degree. Um, what did I say? Uh, I can't remember. Hold on. Yeah, it's just called 850. And that's crossing an origin line with a pretty big horizontal. Uh, and that would be a big move up. So if it, if it breaks out of this ascending triangle, which it likely will form, in my opinion, that move up will be... Oop. Another 30%. That's pretty massive. Yeah, it's it's still intact as long as you're above 00600 is your breakdown point.
breakdown point and upper target. Whatever happens in the middle, just look at the weekly 10 as your guidance. So zoom in. So since we're in the middle of this, just for general direction, look here. Right now, it's it's indistinguishable. You can't tell if it's going to go above or below because it's just it's literally just playing with this line. You see that? It's just it, so right now it really could go either way. The weekly tens in the middle of those breakdown and upper targets, and it has yet to use as resistance or support, so you can't tell. So there is no ed immediate edge either way. There there really isn't one. Um, but I think for Determining what's going to happen between these points, just stare at the weekly 10 and the daily 10 or the 1 hour 200 uh, to try to know your edge, which one of these will happen first. 00850 or 00600 slash breakdown uh, daily 10 and, uh, and weekly 10 using as your guidance for which one will happen first, and that's VRA.